The Ghana Geological Survey Authority has discovered a large quantity of new iron ore in five districts of the Oti region of Ghana. And this is going to make the country brutally rich because it has already gained the interest of over 10 investors. I want to advise people in Accra to start looking for land in the Oti region because what is going to take Ghana from our current state to a very industrialized nation has been found in the OT region, and that is the iron ore. Imagine how prices of steel will reduce when you are able to buy made in Ghana steel produced with iron ore mined in Ghana. Well, that may soon be the case of Ghanaians because uh, Ghana will, by the end of 2022, begin the mining of iron ore to help realize its vision of manufacturing steel and related products in the country. And the good thing is that through the president and lands and natural resources, uh, when we start mining, we will not export for after five, till after five years. So therefore, it tells you that we're going to use, we're going to add value to what we're going to do and minimize the, the cost of importation of iron rods. We spend almost 2.5 billion every year to import iron rods. So you can imagine when we start the iron rods importation, we minimize through the direction of the president and the minister. Because five years, we will not allow anybody to export. Leave it and the steel industry, true iron will make steel, and the steel industry would also be able to make bridges, contractual terms, any contractor through the minister or the direction of the president, or any entity or government agency that wants to do anything that is still related would we'll get it from Ghana. So, in this video, we would like to share with you what iron ore is, its uses, and how it can save the country in the near future from the economic crisis the country is currently facing. But before we start everything, please support us by liking this video and also subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for supporting. Now, let's dive into it. Iron ores are rocks and minerals from which metallic ions can be extracted. There are four types of iron ore deposits and these four types are hematite, which is the most commonly mined, magnetite, titanomagnetite, and pyrolytic ironstone. These ores vary in colors from dark gray, bright yellow, or deep purple to rusty red. The primary uses of iron ore, 98% is to make steel, and the remaining 2% is used in applications such as powdered iron, radioactive iron, iron blue, and black iron oxide. The powdered iron are for certain types of steel, magnets, autopass, and catalysts. The radioactive iron is for medicine and as a tracer element in biochemical and metallurgical research. Iron blue is in paint, printing ink, plastics, cosmetics such as eyeshadow, artist colors, laundry blue, fertilizers, baked enamel finishes on vehicles and appliances, and industrial finishes. And finally, the black iron oxide is used as a pigment in polishing compounds, metallurgy, medicine, magnetic inks and ferrite for electronics industry. So looking at all these uses of iron ore is why I said this Ghana's discovered iron ore is going to make the country brutally rich. So now let's dive into the history of Ghana's iron ore. Ghana was first called the Gold Coast until in 1957. The first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, changed the name from the Gold Coast to Ghana after gaining independence from the British. The Europeans called the land Gold Coast because they found so much gold in the rivers of the land. And to date, Ghana is still the largest gold exporter on the African continent. But Ghana is not only blessed with gold. The country is also blessed with other precious metals like bauxite, iron ore, diamonds, and manganese. But in this video, we are going to focus on iron ore. Ghana's iron ore goes way back to the early 1900s, but limited information was available for the commercial potential of this mineral. The country's first discovery of iron ore was made in 1929 in Sheini, a mountainous area in the northern region of Ghana, sharing border with Togo. The second discovery of iron in Ghana with commercial potential was on top of the hills separating Opon Valley and the Mansi Valley. Ever since they discovered the second one, the country has put in much effort to discover more iron ore. And now the Ghana Integrated Iron and Steel Development Corporation, led in collaboration with the Ghana Geological Survey Department and other key interest group, has finally discovered a high-grade 55.22 weight 
98% minerals, and this was found in the Guan district, the Akwe, Jasekan, KJB, and Krache East district of the Uti region. So the question is, how is this Ghana's discovery of iron ore is going to help solve the financial hardship the country is facing currently? Well, I have a good news for you. And the good news is that the Discovery Iron Ore has already gained 10 investors from both local and foreign players. And these investors are ready to sign a memorandum of understanding with the Ghana Integrated Iron and Steel Development Corporation to mine and also process them in the country. So we, we, through the direction of the minister and the president, we decided to do, a, do a private sector participation because first of all, with the support of the technical committee on the board and the legal committee I work in tandem with them to make sure because blocks and these allocations and it goes through a lot of procedures and for instance it is good for us to establish to get prospective people to present to us and we had companies both Ghanaians but we gave Ghanaians the priority to look at how we can incorporate them to come and do a, a, an investment of their own not government and the M and we, we got into understanding with them to have an agreement that they are going to use their own resources to do the mineral resource estimation okay. on their own rigs, but not letting them to know that this block you are working on is not a block that has been allocated to you. It is you are now doing prospecting to know the reports of what is there. After you have the right of first refusal. Mm. So as we speak, there are ten companies, both that Ghanaian are, and, uh, and foreign, foreign. And steel companies, yes. that are going to do mineral resource, resource estimation. Yes, at their own cost and and their own rigs okay. with no ownership to any block. Okay. Yes. Uh, when we start mining, we will not export for after five, till after five years. So therefore, it tells you that we are going to use, the, we are going to add value to what we are going to do and minimize the, the cost of importation of iron rods. We spend almost 2.5 billion every year to import iron mm. rods. So you can imagine when we start the iron rods importation, we minimize through the direction of the president and the minister. Because five years will not allow anybody to export. And this will help reduce the country's rate of importation of ions, thereby easing the pressure on the foreign exchange reserves. And it will lead to the retention of revenue from the sector into the country, which will result in the growth of the Ghana's economy. Aside from that, more people will be employed, both to mine and also for the production of the raw material into refined products, such that revenues and profit stays in the country. So let us know your thoughts and suggestions inside the comment section below. Again, if you didn't enjoy this video, please don't worry because we have a lot of videos on our channel talking about developmental projects and initiatives going on in Ghana. You can check them out. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Please subscribe, like, have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Makrao.